What's up guys, Nerdy New Pair, and welcome back to another unboxing video. Okay, a few things. One, I think I'm getting a small cold, so that's not great. So if I blow my nose, I apologize. I'll try to edit that out. Two, I changed the angle on my camera, and here's why. For a while now, I've had the camera a little bit further away and up higher, tilted down, and I was watching one of my old videos when I was in my garage, and it was like, it was like this close to my face. Not that I want the camera this close to my face, because I don't, but I was like, oh, I missed the days when the camera was hella close, like, in bed, like when I was, I used to film in my bed. You guys know I used to film in my bed. And I used to be able to show you guys like a pop just like this. Like I didn't have to stretch my arms and try to reach. Like I could just be like, here it is. Here you go, here you see it, you see it. And I, I missed that. Um, so I thought I would switch it up in these next sets of videos and just see how this camera angle works. So let me know what you think. It is definitely a little bit closer. You don't see as much as my tab of my table, but you see more of my background. I think you can now see like different layers in my background. I And now the sun's in my eyes because it's the morning and so I'm getting these like, those sun circles from your window shades, you know? Can you see them? I can see them. There they are. There they are. They're on my face. Anyways. That's all I wanted to tell you guys. I hope that you guys are having a great day and uh, I'm really excited to film a video this morning. In this video, we are going to be unboxing this box. This is a box full of the Poptopia mystery boxes that I purchased on Labor Day weekend. Um, it's the last to arrive of all of the mystery boxes that I purchased. So I had a total of five, I got what was it? Shoe Franchise Kicks, Chrono Toys, Boom Loot, and then Poptopia. So those are the five that I got. Um, so far, I think Chrono Toys is in the lead for the best mystery box. Now, these ones, I don't know if these are going to be, like, amazingly awesome because I bought five mystery boxes, and they were $10 each um, with about $10 worth of shipping. <clears throat> so in total, I paid... $60 for five mystery boxes, so about $12 each. Usually with the $10 to $15 mystery boxes, you don't really get anything like over the top. It's usually just a lot of commons with the chance, I'm assuming, of grails. And I think that's how Poptopia does. I haven't bought a Poptopia mystery box in a really long time. So um, anyways, let's go ahead and open up this box and see what we got. Hopefully, now here's my thing. And I want to say that Poptopia might be the company that does this. Hopefully not. Um, what I don't want to see when I open this box is just a bunch of pops in this box because that's not a true mystery box, right? I want to see prepackaged separate pops in this box overall because like if I would have bought five separate pops or boxes, they should have sent them separately, you know? But let's see how it looks. All right, once you cut the tape and you open up the box, what do you guys think? Are they going to be separate or are they going to be just a bunch of pops? Oh, oh, even better. Okay, Poptopia, you get a prize. Even better, they're each individually wrapped in, um, in, like, what is this called? Craft paper? Okay, so we did get, we got one big one. There's definitely something good in here. Well, better than, than just re a regular common pop, potentially. I don't really know. But let's go ahead and check this out. Should I take the picture now? Because look how pretty these are. These are wrapped very nicely. I think I'm gonna pause this video and take a picture. So hold on one second. Okay, I got my picture taken care of and let's go ahead and crack open these mystery boxes and see what we got. I don't know if there was, you know, like sometimes they have like, oh, you're guaranteed a value of this. I don't know if that's the case to be honest. Oh, apparently they have mystery boxes every Wednesday and Sunday, just so you know. And they're kind of, they range in different prices. Some of them are $25, some of them are 10. I think it depends on what prizes they have. Anyways, I don't have any good details about these ones. So let's just go ahead and open these up and see what we got. So box number one. Oh my gosh, I love how they're wrapped. I'm like such a fan of the wrapping. Oh, we got something in a protector. I don't know if these are all gonna be protectors. Okay, we got a Dragon Ball Z Goku Pop. I think this is pretty common. We'll do some price checks after, but he's cool. He's pretty straightforward, which I like. Some of the more, like lately the Dragon Ball Z Pops have been pretty like out there, but yeah. I think I got, a, did I get the Frieza from this? I don't remember. I don't know if there was a theme to all these mystery boxes. Okay, box number two. I think they all come in pop protectors, which is also nice. Oh, 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 ah. Oh. 
Okay, we got the Hot Topic Nerdette. This was a special pop. You had to spend a certain amount of money, I think, online in order to get this, and I totally did. So I have a Hot Topic box somewhere over there. I have, like, 30 Hot Topic boxes I need to unbox. I, but I did get this pop from Hot Topic. Like, I ordered enough money so that I could get this pop. So this is a, um, a pop of Hot Topic Nerdette. She does a lot of the, I don't know what you call them, but the, like, the, the YouTube videos for Hot Topic where they, I don't even know if it's on YouTube, to be honest. Like, she, like, live streams, and she'll show you, like, all of the pops that are going to be released from Hot Topic coming up for that month. She's pretty well known in the Funko community. Okay, box number three. I'll give you a hint. This is the top of it. What do you think it is? What do you think? Oh, we got Johnny Cash. I'm not a Johnny Cash fan. This guy, he kind of looks like Elvis. Too bad it wasn't Elvis. Amy loves Elvis, and I would totally give her an Elvis pop if I got one. Maybe I could just take this out of the box and tell her it's Elvis. I wonder if she would know. Because, you know, I think she would know. I think she would know. Okay, this pop is a little bit, the box seems a little bit discolored. I wonder if it's older. It looks new. It looks new, but then it looks old. I don't know if you can do both of those. Okay, box number four. Oh, I got it on the bottom. I'm going to let you guys see it first. Is anything cool? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We got an 11 Hot Topic exclusive of, well, 11. <laughs> For some reason, I was going to say Nerdette ah, uh, from Stranger Things. This is from the set. I stopped collecting Stranger Things because I haven't actually watched season any of the other seasons other than season one. And so I focus, focus, focus. Why isn't it focusing? What's wrong with you, camera? Focus. Focus. Okay. This is the set it comes from. I did really want the Will the Wise pop just because I loved his little um, his little outfit, but I did not get that. I think that was a, a Target exclusive. Okay. So the last one, we're going to hold out hope for this one. It's much bigger. I, I think this is like a... Was this like a movie moment? How big is this? Or, oh, maybe, no, a six inch. Is it a six? It's a six inch. So this is some kind of six inch pop. Let's see what we got. Oh. I think I might have this already. I do. Okay. So we got a six inch. Voltron pop. I actually already have this. I was not a fan of Voltron, but I love how similar this looks to um, to Megazord, and so I did get this. Although you guys are telling me that I would probably love Voltron, I haven't had a chance to go watch it. And this is a six-inch pop. I think my Voltron pop is actually like I just did something with it. Oh, it's up there. There it is. Is this the same one? 471, yes. Ooh. So I do already have this, but that's still a good pull. A six inch pull. I mean, you can't go wrong with a six inch pop. Okay. So I don't think we hit anything big. I don't really know, but let's go ahead and check the Funko app and see what we got um, and see if anything is super awesome. I would say, honestly, out of all these pops, I think the Hot Topic Nerdette's my favorite just because I'm not really like a huge Stranger Things fan. And then. I'm not a huge DBZ fan or Johnny Cash fan or Voltron fan, and I already have the Voltron pop, so it's a little bit disappointing, but that's what happens. You guys know, and I didn't do my disclaimer, but when you get mystery boxes, there's a good chance that you're, one, you might get a bunch of things you don't want, and two, you might get nothing great, and you might, you probably aren't going to hit your value, usually. That's usually the case. Okay, I can't scan the Nerdette pops, so I'm going to put that to the side because she's got a Hot Topic sticker. I like their pop protectors. These are nice. Okay, Goku is $10, but I'm going to give it $11 because it came um, with this fancy pop protector. Stranger Things 11, I'm going to hold off on that one. Okay, Johnny Cash, $9, so I'll give that $10 with the pop protector. Voltron, $12. Isn't that interesting? There's a lot of 6-inch pops that are just going for like a super basic cost because... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they made too many at the same time. I'm just going to give it $12 because there's no pop protector on that. And then I'm going to have to type in 
these ones because they're from Hot Topic, so they have the Hot Topic sticker and I can't scan them. Um, 11. Lilo just came up here, if you heard him running. Okay, let's see. There's so many 11 pops. Okay, this one's only going for $9, so I'll give it $10 with the pop protector. Okay, and then let's see if our nerdette, what she is going for. She shouldn't be that much because it's easier to get her. Yeah, so she's only going for $8, so I'll give her $9 with the pop protector. So in total, we got $52 worth of value. Now for those of you, because I've, I've read it in the comments, for those of you who don't think I should be adding shipping to the cost of these pops, then yeah, look, you got your value. <laughs> you got $2 extra value, but I am going to add the shipping to the cost and say that I um, paid, what was it, $60? Yeah, $59.26. So we'll say, we'll just say $59, we'll round down which means that I didn't hit my value by $7. So it's okay. That's not terrible for a mystery box. Um, I wish I would have gotten pops that I liked a little bit better. I think that would have made it more worth it for me, but it happens and that's the chance that you take. All right, so this concludes my series of the mystery boxes I bought from, my Labor Day mystery boxes, I should say. I would say that my total ranking is that, and honestly, I don't really remember. I just know that Chrono Toys is got number one in this in this whole thing. And then I think um, Boom Loot probably got second. And then, I don't know, it was a tie for third between this box, Shimmy, and Franchise Kicks. Franchise Kicks might be a little bit higher. It might have gotten more of a third place. I don't really know. I can't remember. Honestly, I can't remember anything. So there you have it. There you have it. That is all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you guys. Can I just say though, I do want to say that these, I usually get all of my pop protectors from Shumi, but these pop protectors from Poptopia, I don't know if this is their brand because there's a little like shield on the top. So I feel like maybe that's their logo, but these are very nice pop protectors. I will say that. I do like these pop protectors. Um, anyways, this is all I have for you in the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below. Did you guys get any of the Labor Day mystery boxes, but specifically, did you get the Poptopia one? And if you did, what did you get? I'm interested to just see, usually these mystery boxes have some kind of grail that you can get. I just don't remember what the grail was, but did anyone buy this box and what did you get? And um, if you didn't, which pop out of all of these ones that I got, which one is your favorite? Which one do you like the most? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out is gonna go to Funko Loca. Funko Loca, you get the video shout out. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and supporting my channel. I appreciate all the support and I wanna give you the video shout out. Also, um, I'm glad that you also dislike Mondays, so. Yeah, Dislike Mondays Club. My Monday yesterday was really bad too, so I definitely dislike Mondays for sure. Anyways, Funko Loca, you're getting the video shout out. So shout out to you, Funko Loca. Shout out to you. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.